on the bill now under consideration. Without objection, so ordered. I yield myself as much time as I may consume. The gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized. I am pleased to present the United States Capitol Police Administrative Technical Corrections Act of 2008. As, is, as the title suggests, H.R. 5972 is not intended to make substantive policy changes for the Capitol Police. It corrects drafting errors, modernizes outdated terms, and repeals redundant and inconsistent provisions already on the books. My favorite correction is the long overdue repeal of the 1868 law requiring Capitol Police officers to buy the uniforms. Congress decided years ago to provide the uniforms, but has never repealed the 1868 law. Chief Philip Morris requested most of these corrections. The committee found others, and we included several excellent suggestions offered by the gentleman from Michigan, Mr. Ehlers. And again, it was a pleasure to work with him and his staff as always. The bill is in support of Chief Morris, our House Sergeant Lawrence Wilson Living Good, and I urge an I vote and, reverse, and reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves his time. The gentleman from Michigan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in support of H.R. 5972. While I would have preferred that we address these items in regular order, I'm pleased that the proposed technical corrections in this bill will create a stronger operational framework for the Capitol Police. As I 